in our chart, we may actually want to go in and change some of the colors, change some of the shapes that actually appear inside the chart. In this video, we'll see how we can do that. There's a lot of different ways we can format a chart. And when I click on the chart on my presentation here, you can see I get on my chart tools a whole bunch of tabs. So the design tab is a really easy way to go ahead and change some formatting because they have these chart styles here. Where I've got all these different combinations of effects and colors I can choose from. And I can find what I'd like, click on it, and you can go ahead and see it goes ahead and styles my chart for me. Added a few effects and different colors and so on and so forth. Lots to choose from in here, but let's say I want to edit all these pieces individually, and maybe I actually want to change the layout for my chart. Well, I do have here actually this chart layout box, which again has a bunch of preset layouts for me, and I can click and you can see it arranges things like the legends, the titles, things like adds in some charts that are at the bottom, some of uh, my data in there, so on and so forth. So I can choose from these. But again, if I want to be able to customize this myself, I'm going to need the actual Layout tab here on the ribbon. Layout lets me go in and control all of these individual items. For instance, the chart title here at the top, which by the way, if I want to change the text for the chart title, I can just click in here and I can type whatever I want the actual title to be. But I can go up here to the chart title box and I can say, you know, don't display a chart title. I'll say none and that just takes it off. Or I can say, have a centered overlay so it doesn't push the chart out of the way. Or I can say, do it above the chart so it does push the chart down and out of the way. I also have titles for the different axes here. And I can click on this. So there's a horizontal axis here and a vertical axis. So I can say for the horizontal axis, show me a title below there. And same for my vertical axis, I can say one of these different kinds. I can say, show me a rotated title. And you can see I have different types in there, like a vertical title and a horizontal title. I can also say none if I don't want titles at all. Maybe I'll go back to my horizontal and I'll say none to turn those off as well. I can also control my legend. I can say no legend. Or I can say show it at the right. Or the top or left or bottom or wherever I'd like, I can go ahead and click to show that there. I'll also show it at maybe the bottom, maybe that's kind of nice there. I can also turn on data labels, which I can say center, and you can see it's putting the exact number values into these actual columns here. And there's all these different positions inside end, outside end, or I can say none if I won't, don't like those at all. I can also say insert a data table. If I say show data table, you can see at the bottom here, it pushes my chart up to show the actual data from the Excel, uh, which shows exactly what's making up the actual chart here. But that can be kind of cumbersome and taking up a lot of space. So maybe I'll say for chart table, I'll say none to turn that off. And I also have here, like I can control my grid lines that come across here. And for grid lines, I have horizontal grid lines. Right now my major grid lines are on but I can say, show me my minor grid lines where I get a lot more grid lines layered in here. Or I can say, show the major and the minor together. But maybe I'll say just the major ones, that's all I need. I can also turn them right off if I don't want to see them at all. But I'll turn the major ones on. And same for vertical grid lines to divide all the columns. I can say, turn on major grid lines. You can see them dividing here. Or minor, or major and minor, so on and so forth. I'll turn those to none. I don't particularly need those. And for my different axes here, for the primary horizontal axis, I can say none if I don't want to see that horizontal axis at all. Or I could turn it back on to say show it left to right. I can also say show it right to left or show it without any labeling. I'll say show it left to right like so. And I can control the vertical axis the same way. I can say none or I can say show it, or I can say show it formatted to the thousandth, the millions, the billions. And you can see what that looks like if I change that here. There's thousands. But I'm just going to say show the default axis, which just shows the default numbers out here, and that's fine. Now, if I want to format these individual pieces, like colors and things like that, or effects, I do have the format tab here. This access is all of my shape formatting. And if I want to, I can click on one of these bars, say these blue bars, 
go to shape fill, maybe I need these to actually be sort of a different blue, I can choose a different color in here and you can see it formats all of those pieces. And I can click on any individual item here like these purple bars, I can click, I can go to my shape fill, I can change that as well. You can see as I change these, it also changes the legend key to match. And any things like the chart titles, any of the text, I can go in and I can adjust and add some of my word art styles, change the font colors, all of that sort of stuff. I can all change it just like my regular shape formatting and I can make my chart look however I like. So there we have being able to format the chart. Now in the next video, we'll see about how we can take our existing chart and actually turn it into a different type.